I got like my period early this month and I don't know why I already have it, but I do. And let me tell you, it has been horrible. I'm going to say it. Have sex with a Scorpio. I could glue bridge your dad. I'm naked. Hold on. <laughs> we will be flicking the beans to that. <laughs> but she's tatted and I take meth. Is somebody in your house right now? But you know what? Fuck your ass. Yeah, I had sex last night. You can make your own money. You can literally have your own job of your dreams. You can own your own house. You can own your own car. You can pay all your fucking own bills. So what is that man? That man has sex and a best friend. And that's it. I heard nothing but the truth. Literally horrible. Like my cramps, my mood. I've cried every single day. I've been like. I'm not on my period and I've been crying a lot recently. Beyond emotional. And I don't know why, but like every show I watch makes me cry. And every been, video I watch makes me cry. I've been beyond emotional. Like the other day I did a, and also like I've been just like really drained, like really, really tired. That's what my last period was. Like I, I slept like multiple times. No, like yesterday. So I got off of work on Sunday at like 730. I came home. I was asleep by nine because also I worked all weekend. So like yeah. I was just tired. I woke up in the morning at 10.30 on Monday, mm -hmm. woke up, fed Leo, ate breakfast, went back to sleep and didn't wake up until an hour before I had to be at work. Oh my God. And then I came home yesterday from work and I went to sleep and I woke up today at like, I got home at like going to bed by like 1 a.m. I woke up at like 7.45, like on my phone for like maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to sleep until like noon. Yeah, I figured you slept pretty late when I didn't like hear from you yeah. until like halfway through the day. Yeah, and then I was like, oh <laughs> shit, like I had like things I had to go do and I was like, yeah. oh shit, like I'm going to go to the gym later. Well, also but Mercury's like, in retrograde right now dude, and it ends on the 14th. Yeah, I I actually didn't know about that because the crazies are out. But like I just, I don't know what it is and it's insane. And I feel like other people can like resonate with like their period just being fucking wild. I've just been so sad so the other other part of this is that on last thursday i vlogged so it comes out today which would be tuesday so if you're listening it's two days ago that the our vlog came out or if you're watching it's three days ago let's <laughs> 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 just confuse everybody even more. so go to our youtube channel you can see the yeah. vlog <laughs> i had like a little self-care day because i was like okay i haven't like had a day where like i didn't have something to do or like planned already like previously like, for yeah. myself even on my day off so I'm like, okay, I really want to get my like, my nails done, go to like Goodwill, just like mm -hmm. have a day, like do that's some the laundry. American dream. Yeah, nails and then Goodwill. Yeah, I mean, because you yeah. spend way too much money on nails that's here. The, so that's the the economic state we're living exactly, in. Right now. Exactly, exactly. We're gonna we're gonna splurge and go to Goodwill. <laughs> but the splurge was the, the nails, yeah. and then you had to go to Goodwill because you splurged on the nails. Yeah. But anyway, so I was like, okay, and I like got up and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym, and I was like filming, and then I was like, I don't really feel like going to the gym. Also, I didn't really realize I was gonna get my period in the next day. So mm -hmm. like, You're like it's making sense now. Yeah, and I like was just crying i didn't cry in the vlog but mm. like when i go to do my makeup when i first your like, eyes are like red they're not red but they're like puffy and mm. like when i first like start talking i'm like hey guys and then like your voice I, like, is like shaky yeah and i like rewatched it and i was like oh god i wish i would have waited like another 10 minutes yeah because but like as i start doing my makeup like it, it's like fine but i'm like i just had a full-blown meltdown for just cuts yeah because why not i feel that though like i being a woman is truly an experience that you cannot put into words 90% of the time. No. Especially with like the way your body changes and also the way your moods change and like everything. Mm -hmm. And so like whenever you're on your period, you finally have like an, not an excuse for it, but it's like more of like a validation of like, oh, that's why I feel this way. But for me, I've just been crying all the time yeah and i'm not on my period so i think mine is like very period induced but also i just feel like life is just not that it's like an excuse of anything i just think it's like yeah like it makes you just like no yeah times. i think i woke up the other day and realized like i'm in a depression hole again mm -hmm. and i was like i haven't been in one of these in a long time and i was like fuck I didn't want to. Here we go again. I, I didn't want to like admit that it was yeah. happening. And so to myself, I was like, no, you're just like maybe getting a cold or you're you need to like, you know, like go 
get a new outfit or like whatever like you're just like down on like x y and z it's like it's just for today and then like the other day i like woke up and i was like no this is actual depression like it's yeah. it's back mm-hmm. and especially like with my like physical health i look i cannot get myself to do anything Mm -hmm. and every day I wake up and I tell myself like you're gonna go to the gym today like you're gonna go for a walk or you're gonna go do something like at the very least go for a walk Mm -hmm. and I don't do it and I can't I I cannot do it yes I will put the clothes on Mm -hmm. and I will get ready and I'm about to walk out the door and then I'm like if I do this right now I will end it all like I cannot <laughs> leave my house no I, I cannot okay, leave. no so that's when you were like <laughs> if you want to go to the gym like before I come over and I was like I can't yeah I can't like I had to edit the vlog which wasn't like a big deal I like wanted to clean my house up a little bit which like didn't get very far on it because it was just like you know what I mean like when you're in that in those states too like I have so many things that I want to go do mm-hmm. but like just I can't mentally and physically get a single task fully completed yeah. right now and like that's literally been me for like the past like two months and like that's how I thought I was like I can't go to the gym so I put gym clothing on so when we're done with this I can go to the gym Mm -hmm. hopefully right I mean that's the goal yeah (laughs) and it's like it's so like it's so frustrating because like in reality it's not hard like just go do it Mm -hmm. and like you've done this before like you've gone every day yeah and you've made your own meals every day and Mm -hmm. you've put on the outfit every day Mm mm-hmm So why is it now that you can't? And like that's something that like recently I've just been really struggling with and especially like body image because I'm not working out. Like I don't have a naturally like physical looking body. Mm -hmm. Like my body is very naturally soft and like what did they call it back in the day? Like in the Renaissance era, they call it like a romance body where it's like you don't have any like tonedness. Okay. Like you're just very soft. Like all I don't don't really have like true curves. It's just like it is what it is. But I don't see you in that way. But I understand feeling that way. Yeah. So like my thing is though, like the moment I stop exercising, like I did not win the genetic lottery to where it's like I can just kind of stay the same. Like I will immediately gain like five to ten pounds. Like Mm -hmm. that's just how it goes. And like my whole life has been like that. Like the moment I stop doing any form of exercise or if I even tone it down a notch it's like instant. you can tell yeah and like obviously like other people might not notice as bad but like for me I like put my sh- clothes on and I'm fucking uncomfortable mm-hmm. like I'm like my sports bras are too tight my fucking like even my underwear feels too tight yes like on my hip area no even I'm like I hate this and like and then that's also pissing me off to the point where it's like I don't even want to work out because like my clothes are uncomfy no so I've been feeling that way too about going to the gym is like I have been wearing like biker shorts with like extremely oversized t-shirts recently and that's like not like me at all yeah you're definitely like a sports bra girly when it goes to the gym yeah and that is not like me also going to the Y makes me feel like I can't like be a sports bra girly at the gym yeah, I feel like that's just like weird and you just like probably don't want to be perceived there. no like I just want to go yeah. in and work out like I don't want to have to like have that mm-hmm. whatever like the eyes on you or at least yeah. the feeling of it yeah. like even if they're not like you don't want to have to like think feel like, that way or like because I feel like that's just me asking for attention and like I don't yeah, want that right. so anyway I like but like I've been going with like really oversized shirts too because I feel so like bloated and gross and I'm like I just like want my stomach to like hang out yeah. but I don't have to like think about it yeah. being out no i don't know i've been feeling the same way just too. like i've been so bad about like my own physical health recently which like was the point i was at when i started like my marathon training like last year because i had reached a point where i bur- got burnt out from the gym and like i was like neglecting my physical health completely because like i was like i hate exercising mm-hmm. like i was like i hate doing it yeah but then at the same time i hate sitting around all day yes and it's like i do enjoy exercise but like right now mentally i can't do it Mm -hmm. and it's the most frustrating feeling ever and like this is not to be like body shaming myself or anything like i don't want that to be like the the message here i'm just saying like i feel like everybody can relate to feeling uncomfortable in your normal Mm -hmm. like my normal is off Mm -hmm. and so that's why i feel uncomfy like it could be like an ideal body for me at a different point in my life but like for right now it feels 
really off and so uncomfortable yeah and like all of my clothes feel bad and like everything I put on I look in the mirror and I'm like ugh, yes like I cannot catch a vibe yeah and like it's so frustrating because like I know not that I could easily change it because like obviously like the way that also my genetics are is like it takes a lot of fucking work to see any difference in my physique but I know I have the ability to do it but the mental capacity I don't Mm -hmm. and that sucks Mm -hmm. because it's not like it's like this taxing mental thing but it kind of is when you are in this depressed state to like I don't know like people say like oh I can't even brush my teeth and like I get that I've been there before but right now my issue is like I can't even care to move my body and I'm so exhausted Mm -hmm. and it's like why you you've taken less than a thousand steps today why are you tired I mean like I definitely (laughs) like my job is a lot more physically demanding now so Mm -hmm. like I also feel like that's the reason I like skip out on the gym is because like I'm physically also exhausted but like it's just it's like I don't know I I feel the same way though because I'm like not working out if I don't work out even though like it's physically demanding like my day-to-day job but like not working out makes me feel bad makes me mm-hmm. feel guilty makes me feel like i can't or like i look a different way or whatever like yeah. i still feel like the same and I way i hate having that relationship with exercise yeah. like i really wish i had like a positive relationship with exercise and like i tried really hard for a really long time to like change that mentality about it where it's like you shouldn't feel guilty mm-hmm. like it's not the end of the world but the issue is like when I do get to that point, then I just don't do it. Well, I, and that's where it's like, I feel like I'm almost there. I, okay. So <laughs> I got like, my sister showed me this like app and it's called evolve you. And I've been using it. It's like a hundred dollars. I want to say for like the year. And mm-hmm. there's like a ton of different programs on there. They have like food, they have like all this stuff. And like, you can do like at home programs or like in the gym, like minimal equipment and whatever. And like when I first was doing it, I was like, okay, I want to get back into like, my power lifting whatever mm-hmm. since like I can now so I was like I started doing a program like that but it was like five days a week and like you get this sounds so stupid but it's psychological like you get stars based off of like when you complete workouts mm. and like since I was doing like the advanced version because honestly like I'm not gonna lie and not like not like a cocky way but like the beginner and like intermediate is just boring to me in the gym well also you're past that point in terms of your education like you're not at that beginner level and it's not and like i don't want it to sound that way because i think that every single thing you do in the gym can be hard it's like you can do the most basic movements doing the most basic things and it still be really hard because you could either do a lot more reps with a lot less weight or higher higher weight with less reps and like you can still make it a good workout no matter what level of fitness you're at like I so fully, fully yeah, believe totally. that. I just think mentally it's boring because I'm not doing yeah. as many like stimulating movements. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to be like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like it's not still a good workout because it still is a great workout. But anyway, so I ended up changing the program that I was doing like last week because I was like, I need like a little switch up. Mm-hmm. And I honestly like based off the, like the level that you choose gives you workout, like gives you the amount of workouts per week. And I was like, if I'm being completely real with myself, I can really only dedicate three to four days to go to the gym right now. And honestly, I feel like every normal working human can only do that. And right. the people who do more than that are sacrificing other things in their life. Right, but and I was. I'm not willing to no, do that. No, but I was. Yeah. Like, when I was in that like gym girly mm-hmm. era. And now I'm like, I can only do three to four days a week and it be okay. So I literally changed the program and I changed my amount of times I would work out per week to be three with an optional fourth because I was like, yeah, I don't want to feel like guilty, guilty for not, for not com- getting my stars or right. whatever. It's like the same, like the Apple watch. Like mm-hmm. if you don't get your close your rings, like you failed. Yeah. And like, it has like a full like program for you of like days rest days and like things yeah. you could do on rest days you could have active rest days like honestly like if you're somebody who and like every single thing is like videoed and like you have time to rest in between so like you are constantly going in your workout so i will say it's a really good app for somebody who like is new to the gym yeah is advanced in the gym or even just like wants some guidance in the gym mm-hmm. it's probably been one of the best apps i've used for working out so far so like a subtle little plug for them it's called evolve you if you like mm-hmm. actually want to be like 
want to go to the gym and want to get started and like also they have a whole nutrition like program so like meals like actually i found a meal in there today that i want to go and make when i'm done and it's yeah. like normal fucking food yeah like normal food it's not like they do rice so- rice cakes and cottage cheese yeah like they still have those things yeah, as yellow like, mustard <laughs> they still have those things as like options but yeah. like okay if i go into it right now but also if you're working out five days a week you should not eat that anyways no well yes but you need to eat a lot more than that right. like the first thing on here is a greek pasta salad this this creamy chicken and tomato pasta is like what i want to make they have like overnight oats and like frittatas and like all these things and you can literally like go on it and press meal plan and then say how many days a week you want it to make a meal plan for you and randomize it and it'll literally make a meal plan for you and give you a list to go to the grocery store Mm -hmm. so like again if someone who struggles with that who's listening to this and is like whatever this is a great app and great resource for you to like use it's like a little subtle plug but i really do like their workouts and i just that maybe that like would help Cause I think, cause I'm thinking like too, even for you, like since right now you don't have like that guidance of like, I'm not saying you have to get this app, but I'm saying like, okay, if I can like hit three days a week. Yeah. Because for me, it makes me feel so much better. And even if I don't do like a crazy thing, three days a week. Yeah. I get that. I think for me, it's more of just like, it's like, I don't even like, I've gotten to the point too with like my life where it's like, I feel very much like understimulated in everything I do. Like even in my job right now, like I was talking to my boss today because we have our one-on-ones on Tuesdays and I was telling her like, Hey, like I feel like I'm not doing enough and like I need more shit to like work on because like I'm being a bad employee. I was like straight up like I'm not doing enough for this to be my full time job because like I'm understimulated and I get my tasks done really quickly. But like they're not fulfilling to me. Like I feel like I'm just like a cog in the wheel and like Mm -hmm. I'm just keep doing the same shit over and over and over. And so like after talking to her today, like we like, you know, gave me some new like projects or whatever to work on. But like. Even that, I'm, like, hoping maybe that will help transition into, like, the other shit in my life. But it's, like, I've just hit this point where it's, like, I don't have any creative or, like, stimulus happening in my life. Because, like, when I was training, it was, like, okay, I had this goal and that's what's pushed me forward. And, like, yeah, I cannot show up. But at the end of the day, it's going to make race day that much harder for me. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I have to face that consequence at some point. So you decide, you know, it it wasn't so strict to where it was like three days a week. I have to do this, this, this. It was like, okay, you can, or if you can't, and that's fine. But in four months, like you're going to want to die. Right. And that's what, and like more like my three days a week for me is more like, okay, if I, if I know if I do it three days a week, I can still feel good. Yeah. Is more like, yeah. And I I just don't even know what I want to do. Like, I don't even like going to the gym. I've realized that I hate going to the gym. I hate lifting weights. I hate gym culture i hate the people there i enjoy running now because like that's what i found like produces serotonin in my brain like honestly and that's why i did like lifting weights for a minute because it gave me that same like feeling Mm -hmm. and then it just stopped giving me that feeling and i was like okay so i picked up running i I liked that but like it is so goddamn hot and like i don't enjoy running right now and so i feel like i have nothing else to do and then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should go do Pilates or something. But then I'm like, I don't have the money to do that. Oh, yeah. I would love to go do Pilates. Again, right? Like, Reformer. Like, like, oh, my God. It's Reformer so Pilates. expensive. It was my favorite thing that I have honestly did. And I did it while I was, like, lifting all the time. And it felt so good. I know. I think I would really like it while I'm running. Like, I feel like oh my that God. would, like, all these, it's like, weird, so good. small tendon and, like, I like to strengthen that like super targeted. I feel like it would be so great for that. But like I don't have the finances to do it. And so I feel like I'm just like in this place right now where like I wake up, do my boring ass life and then I look forward to going to sleep. And I never am like that. So the fact that I'm like looking forward to it to be 8 p.m. So it's like socially acceptable for me to like get into bed. That's like a red flag in no. my life because I'm no. never normally like I that. I feel that way though. I don't know. The other day when I was at work. So I like couldn't because i cried in the morning just 
because mm-hmm. and i was like okay well i can't put contacts in right now because it's like my eyes are just gonna fucking burn yeah so or I you'll put, be rubbing them and shit yeah so i put glasses on and i like went to work i did take contacts with me because i was like i'm eventually gonna put them in yeah it's just like right at this moment cannot go into my um eyeballs and i took my glasses off i got to work took my glasses off because i was like there's like a smudge like right where my eye was so mm-hmm. i was like okay i'm gonna clean them i start cleaning them they snapped uh, the lens falls out onto the ground and i was like this is my 13th reason today. yeah i was like this is like, it i'm done nobody I'd, i'm head out see ya like <laughs> this shit didn't even fucking start right. and i was like okay okay and i just was like i it took everything in me not to just like start bawling right yeah. then. So I was like, I just can't. One more thing. Right. One more fucking thing. So now I have to go get glasses. And you know what? Getting that is stressful. Mm-hmm. And that makes me want to not do it. I looked this morning and I was like, this is stressful. And then I like was, I put this clothing on. And I was like, okay, well, I could like go over to like Warby Parker and like pick out a pair of glasses and like whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but that in itself just also seemed so stressful. Yeah, it's so overwhelming to like uh, anything like that where it's like having like a million options. It's like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so like there's that, right? So I'm like, this is like, I'm just trying to say like things for people who like aren't gym people that I've been like struggling with to like even do, mm-hmm. you know? Also, yesterday, last night at work, we were told that we're no longer allowed to wear leggings to work. Mm. Bitch, why? Number yeah. one, you ain't going to catch me on a 12 hour shift in skinny jeans yeah you ain't gonna catch but so we have to wear it, pants with pockets so why is that a rule i don't because is it like a safety thing or just because they want it to be yeah. a rule That's it's like it. i would understand if you worked at like a fucking steakhouse but we work at a sports bar yeah this, like <laughs> the, the, that's like the vibe right like why 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 oh my god i was so pissed when they said i went off i was like absolutely fucking not i was like you over my dead body right. i was like watch me find a loophole watch me so i like looked up just get like pajama jeans or whatever i looked up um yoga pants with like with like pockets i was mm-hmm. like if you want pockets babe yeah i'm gonna give you pockets yeah could you just wear sweatpants so target has a 20 dollar pair of yoga pants with side pockets mm. so i might get a pair of those and then i got smart and i'm gonna get i got a pair of these but this has been like also very stressful in my life recently and it shouldn't be a stressful thing but yeah. i feel like but it's when you're like, depressed like everything's the end yeah of the world. like it just feels <laughs> like this like i can't be this yeah. is not life so i asked my sister i was like what kind of scrubs do you like to wear because mm-hmm. the way that they make scrubs now are like nice yeah so i found a pair of yoga pants scrubs that have five pockets oh so he said, I'm going to give you pockets. You want pockets? I got pockets. I'm, pockets. I'm not. We're not. So I bought a pair because they were $28. Mm-hmm. And I was like, we're going to see how they are. And they like actually aren't bad. Like I'll show them to you. Like they're not. They're not like giving scrubs. No. But I thought like. I was like, I. Until you have like a nurse come in. She's like, oh my God, are those scrubs? <laughs> oh my Shut God. Shut up. Those are my favorite type. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I. Where are they? But I was like, you know what? fuck it i'm gonna get some scrubs yeah put on their loading like i feel like they don't look like scrubs no so like the only reason those look like scrubs is because of like the other stuff she's wearing yeah but like i feel like i could get away with them yeah at work without them being and like i was like i still want comfy pants i'm not gonna be in jeans yeah that's crazy because that to me i was like i will quit yeah i can't do that it'd be different if you were sitting all day but like I'm literally you're like walking around sweating and see, like that's the other thing. Yeah. You first of all, maybe get your air conditioning fixed before you make me wear jeans. <laughs> Number two, don't make me work a twelve hour shift. Yeah. Number three, you want me to carry kegs mm-hmm. and be moving shit around all day in jeans? Yeah, that's insane. Baby, you have to pay for some medical bills. Yeah. If you think I want to no yeah i'm about to get hella utis so that's what i'm saying like <laughs> what what are you are you joking like yeah. delusion it's because two men run the fucking business i was about to say it's probably because like a guy said so i don't know i don't know the whole situation but all i know is that made me really also like sad. sorry but like not to like play into like the objectification of women or whatever but like wouldn't your clientele rather see you guys in leggings and like pants okay well yes and no I guess I don't really know. I understand what you're saying, you know, but I'm thinking about myself. Okay. 
I feel like my ass looks way better in jeans than it does in leggings. And that's not like, I know that's like not a normal like thing, Mm -hmm. but I think you don't realize like my, (laughs) this is going to sound like insane, but like every time I wear jeans, people are always like, oh, your ass looks really good. Because it's a color. Really big. It's not black. But even I wore black jeans the other day to work and they were Mm -hmm. like, people are like, oh my God. But I think it's just like the way that they like, it fits on my body. And there's like a seam and there's like the pockets. Right. So for me, it's actually more objectifying because I do not get nearly as many comments when I wear leggings. Right. So like yeah i don't really know interesting i don't know but i just feel like i don't know i was just felt like my life has been i don't say stressful because stressful is not even the right word it's just been like yeah sad i was gonna say like mine hasn't been stressful it's just been like there's like a lot of like personal shit i'm dealing with and so i feel like that's just like bringing me down and like everything else in life and so it's like like because of that like sadness or like whatever it's like rippling into me realizing like oh my job is under stimulating oh i'm not moving my body oh i i hate, could be or should be i doing. hate x y and z yeah. about x y and z and so it's just like this negativity wave that's like taking over my life and like i hate feeling mm-hmm. like that and i'm like oh my god wake the fuck up get out of that but like this weekend i finally left my house and like did something for the first time and like god i don't yeah. know how long and i did like three social things this weekend so it was like that was good that i like left my apartment and like did something over the weekend that Mm -hmm. wasn't just like this or well yeah on saturday when you guys went so like she went to like this thing close to my work Mm -hmm. and like they were she was like oh you should come back you should come over whatever and like by the time like i was done working like i definitely could have still made it like gone home showered came back but i was like i can't tired not even that but it was just like the whole this like whole way yeah. that's over me i was like i just yeah i don't have it in me to do it yeah to go do this yeah even though i should have there's like a bar in like an event venue like over by where kellen works that was hosting like a themed dj night and they were playing like drake music all night and like i'm like drake is like my taylor swift <laughs> so like i know every like word for word bar for bar every drake song ever like i can belt it couldn't be it. me like couldn't i be know me. all of them and yeah he's my taylor swift so i was like oh i need to go to this because the drake concert tickets are so expensive i don't think i can go i'm trying to convince my brothers to come down that weekend and we just go to the box office day of and see what we can get but i don't know if that'll happen anyway so i was like oh i want to go to this thing and kellen was working and then madeline like had somebody in town and so there goes two of my three friends and then my (laughs) third friend i like didn't want to bother her because it was like her birthday weekend and so i was like oh she's probably busy but then i was like you know what like i'm just gonna ask just in case and like turns out saturday she had no plans to do anything and so she was like oh yeah i'm so down like i'll go so like, perfect And she's like the down friend like she would do anything yeah and so i was like oh perfect like this will be fun and so we like got ready or whatever and then one of my coworkers texted me and he was like hey i saw you post on your story the other day that you're going to like the drake night at brooklyn bowl like me and this other co-worker are going if you want to come to my house before like we're having like a little pregame with some people i was like perfect like we'll have like a nice little group to pull up in so it's not just like me and her like whatever yeah not that it wouldn't be fine but like it's always yeah. better to ha- it's like more fun when you have like a bigger group of yeah people. and so we're like okay cool so we went over there and then we show up to brooklyn bowl and like this very similar thing happened at blast where it's like for the first like hour it was weird a ghost town yeah like nobody was in there they didn't even start playing drake music for the first hour of the event starting (laughs) because like not enough people were in there for them to be like okay this is worth it worth it and so they're just playing random music and then it like was like a wave of people came in and like it ended up being pretty crowded but that was like the first time that i'd gone out out sober and it was like i feel like the first positive time i had being like truly sober with a group of drunk people because mm-hmm. like i realized like it was because i knew all of the words to all of the songs so i didn't have to like you were fight pl- yeah. to like enjoy my time like i was gonna enjoy my time regardless because like they're playing the music of my soul yeah so like i could just sing along and then i was like damn it is so crazy how like the music and like 
the vibe like affects your ability to have fun when you're sober versus when you're drunk because like if you're fucked up like eventually like you're just gonna have fun because like yeah you're, you're gonna like find like yeah. a little and if you don't you're gonna keep drinking until you do but like being sober i was like Ooh, i gotta you just gotta fake it till you make it and then like the moment he started playing drake music i was like in my own little fucking world and people kept trying to talk to me or whatever because like they're all just like chit-chatting and i'm just like lip syncing all the words <laughs> that i cannot be bothered i'm like sorry i'm not like caring to have these conversations with you right now like i'm just gonna dance but like it ended up being like a lot of fun but that was like the first time i'd gone out like totally sober to like an actual like dancey night out type thing and not just like a sit down at a bar so mm-hmm. it's easy to not drink you know yeah and i will say like the fucking bartender like the first time i went up there i just been getting like soda waters with lime basically everywhere I go because like a it looks like a cocktail so nobody like bothers you when you're drinking it and b it's like I feel like a dickhead when I order a water at the bar yeah but nobody's been making me pay for it which I feel so bad too because I'm like I just like at least let me tip you like yeah. whatever and they're like no nah, it's fine it's a soda with lime and I'm like okay well I still feel bad I go up there and I ask for it and he goes what are you an alcoholic or something <gasps> and i go uh yeah and he was like oh no there's nothing wrong with not drinking let me just make that for you and like it was so awkward and i was like oh, no, wait what yes because i was like i was like oh i'll just have like a soda with lime and like everybody else was ordering drinks right and he was like do you want vodka or anything in it and i was like no just just a soda with lime and he goes what are you an alcoholic or something <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bad bit. I was like joke. I was like a little bit yeah that's kind of why I'm not drinking like it was it just, and, but but okay no 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 it no. was just like not the time and place no like, because you're being a, a bartender I would never <laughs> I would never do that to somebody because also he's a man so he has no fucking like it was the, his face like turned so he like, should like white like all of the color in his face like went it, he away should be instantly. embarrassed and then he was like and then he's like uh, there's nothing wrong with not drinking. And then he like kind of chuckled and like made my drink and then like awkwardly handed it to me and I had my card and he was like, oh, don't worry about it. Like it's just soda and water and, or soda and lime. And so like I didn't pay the rest of the night obviously for that because like they set the tone. Yeah. But like the fact he said that, I was like, what the fuck? No, he, first of all, he should have been white when, he, yeah. when you told him that because that's just disgusting. And also like there's multiple reasons to not have a drink. What, what if, if I were, was pregnant? That's what I'm saying. Or what, what if, if I was on pregnant? antibiotics and like couldn't drink? Or what, what if you were pregnant? What if you were already drunk and you just wanted to have something that wasn't right, like, a drink? Right. Like what like, if I was like so fucked up? I was like, I just need water. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> what? If, like anything is a what if. Like, okay. What if you're the DD tonight and you chose that you didn't want to even have a drink? Yeah. Or like, and now the bartender's pressuring me into getting drunk. That's like, disgusting. It was really weird. That is any. No. Like I've gotten like weird like kind of like oh you're not drinking tonight but it, it's never like are you an alcoholic like that was like so <laughs> like oh but even so like i <laughs> just i'm thinking about me being on the other side yeah i would never never and i also understand like where i work isn't like a club or like anything like that where like you're most likely coming there to get fucked up but people come to that bar to get fucked up well i was almost like i feel like it's almost the exact opposite because i feel like if anything people aren't sitting at a bar at a restaurant because they're having a diet coke like they're sitting there because like they're coming to get a drink and they're by themselves like i feel like plenty of people go out and don't order a drink every time they go up to the bar yeah like i feel like that's so normal like even when i was drinking i would still go up to the bar sometimes and just be like can i have a water yeah that's so normal but i guess it was like early in the night and you were asking for yeah it was like we first got there and i just like i don't know i just needed something in my hand you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like it's just like that weird feeling of like i feel like you need something in your hand and also it prevents people from being weird like let me buy you a drink because like i already have one like thanks yeah i mean like even if you ask for a diet coke like it doesn't Mm -hmm. fucking matter like it was just like so jarring no like that is ever said that to me when i haven't ordered alcohol before (laughs) <laughs> it was no crazy. i don't like that at all because i'm thinking about myself on the other side of the bar and like that's just disgusting and like it was and- the same bartender who when we went there and saw blast he like complimented my hair and asked me if it was fake 
well, remember when I wore my hair in that slick pony? So he just has the audacity. And he was like, he was like, oh, I like your hair. Is that a hair piece or something? And I was like, <laughs> no. What the fuck? Like, I was like, no, my hair's just like in a bun. Like, what? <laughs> it was so weird. And I was like, no. Ha ha ha. He's ha. like, he was like, oh, okay. Like, what? So he just has the audacity. And he it's like, yeah, stopped. like he's trying to be like funny, but like all of his jokes are just insults. Like, not one of them has ever been, like, cute or, like, funny. I'm just, I'm not over that comment. That's disgusting. Yeah. The only thing that I've ever gotten close to that was, like, people, like, pressuring you, like, a waiter or, like, a bartender. It almost feels like they pressure you to order a drink. And then, like, having to double down and say no, like, a second time is, like, so annoying. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. My thing, so, for but the me. the fact that he said the word alcohol. The only thing is, crazy. like, I want you to have a drink, like, being on the service side. I want you to have a drink. But I don't care what the drink is. Especially so like, like when the fact that like a soda is going to cost you about the same. Also for like us and like the way it looks like business wise, like we're supposed to make sure you have a full drink no matter what it is. But like mm -hmm. I want you to have something in front of you. Like I don't care if it's a water. I don't care if it's Diet Coke, yeah. if it's a soda water, if it's a beer. Also I like, looked in like the back, like in their coolers and they had literal recesses in there. So they sell like alcohol free like drink substitutes so it's like not it's like obviously they're promoting that type of lifestyle there or they're trying to be like hey mm -hmm. you can still come here and or have the and option not be drunk. yeah and like the fact that he like said that i was like what the fuck because what if like and like the thing about like my sobriety is like i definitely have a problem with alcohol but it's not on an addiction level where it's like if well, you i have it let it get there right where it's like if i have like a taste of it i'm gonna go over the edge like you know what i mean mm -hmm. but what if it was and because of that comment i ended up ordering a drink and like dying that night because i just went way too hard That's, you know what i'm yeah. saying like no no 100 it's like i don't know it was just like so crazy that he said that i was like uh kind of like i literally said that and then he, he was like uh there's nothing wrong with not drinking and I was like, yeah, I know. That's why I didn't order. That's why drink. I want a soda with lime. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Then he handed it to me. He's like, do you want a straw? I was like, yeah, give me the fucking straw. Actually, give me two. <laughs> yeah. And Fuck. for the inconvenience, give me another lime. Yeah. Fuck you. And I just like walked away. And then like when I had to go back up there like later, because I was like, I need something in my hand. Like that's just, I don't know. I feel so weird. Yeah. And maybe it's just because I've always gone out with alcohol and it's always in my hand but like i don't know also i feel like my mouth got so dry because i was singing so long i was like i need like <laughs> ice to chew on or something i was like chewing on ice like a fiend but like yeah <laughs> no was like, i was just being drake and no, i needed a little water break <laughs> literally like oh my god it was like it was fun but it was like i felt like i was just performing the whole time i mean he's like he has very wordy music Oh my god, so, I know. Yeah. Very wordy. Yeah, it's so rarely, I can imagine it's the punch like you needed. Singing either. It's like all like talking like yeah. fast and yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that was like the weird like uh thing that happened to me this weekend. But other than that, it was fun. Saturday or Friday night I went to Old Glory and got the same thing. The bartender wasn't weird <laughs> and you just gave it to me for free also and didn't, you know, call me an alcoholic. And yeah, it was good. I will say the one thing about Old Glory is like the vibes are so bad until they're good, but they rarely are good. Like the whole time we were in there, it was just like it was also that that point in the night was like too early for people to be dancing. But mm -hmm. it was like too late for them to like be like having waitresses come to the tables to serve you drinks. So like if you had a drink, you still had to like get up and go walk to the bar and then go sit down at the table. Mm. But they wouldn't let you have a table unless you had a reservation for a table. Mm. And so we're just like standing in the middle of this like small floor area and the DJ didn't show up yet. And we're just like, they're playing just like random ass. Like, I don't even know what type of music was happening. It was like a mix of like, k-pop and then like hip-hop music and then it would like cut to country like it was just like r it was like somebody's like personal playlist <laughs> it felt like of like their favorite music but it made no sense together and there was no vibe that's and how literally i was like after a while i was done listening to fucking morgan wallen and kane brown sing on her yeah and i just took over i took over the music and it was like that mm -hmm. it was so random mm -hmm. as to what i played 
But I'm gonna tell you, it was way better than listening to fucking whiskey glasses for the tenth time. That oh day. my god, I have like a uh, that song triggers me because one of my like really good friends in college, <laughs> she was like. I love her, but like when she would play music, she would play the same like 10 songs on repeat mm-hmm. every time I got in her car mm-hmm. and every time she got ready or like anything. It was like always like the same 10 songs that were in that rotation at the moment, which now learning about ADHD and like knowing she has ADHD, I get it because it's like when something brings you serotonin, you hyper fixate yeah. and you just over and over. So I get it. But at the time, it was fucking annoying. And Whiskey Glasses was one of those <laughs> songs. And it was like a song that I never liked and I never wanted to hear. And I was forced to hear it all of the time. And so now when I hear it, it's like, like I feel like I get like a like a twitch yeah, in my that, body. That's um, a song that is a regular at my bar. Or so. what's that one song? It's like this country song. And it's like, it's like, uh. Oh my God! It's like pedal to the ground, the cigarette, and the da da. Oh my God, I no dude! Idea. I've heard this song like <laughs> ten bajillion times, and I cannot think of it right now. It was like her heels burning on the floor of my car, and the cigarette then it down. Oh my God! Hold on, <laughs> I gotta find this because it's gonna drive me crazy, and it sounds nothing like that. I promise you. <laughs> I was like, I don't know a tune of a country Cig- song like that. How did the hell do you spell cigarette? Oh, there we go. Cigarette. Uh, burning. Uh, rear view. <laughs> Near. Country. Song. song. I was like, Google, do your thing. Hey, what is that song that Kaylin used to always play? And it was like, her heels on the gas and the cigarette. Pulling out of the red light and the lipstick and the rear view. You know? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's like, it's like she's, she's punching her heel on the gas and the cigarette. Oh, my God. Yes, you do. She used to sing it all the time. Like, when she would play that Whiskey Glasses song, it was like the next song in her rotation. Yes, but what is the other one? It's like... Pedal to the floor. Mom, what the hell do you think I've been trying to do? That's why I can't. That's why I had to call you. <laughs> it was like a pedal to the floor with her heels on the. Okay. Goodbye. I'm podcasting right now. I was trying to figure this out. God. Whatever. This is going to piss me the fuck off because it's going to come to me as like soon as we 10, finish. No. Like 10 30 tonight. No. You're about to fall asleep. No. And it's going to go, be the moment we stop filming. It's going to be like. It's going to be just popping up. Hey, this is Emily to interrupt the podcast, but uh, as soon as I left Kellen's house after we recorded this, I remembered the song and I would play it, but we would get a copyright violation. But the song is Hell on a Highway by Justin Moore. And uh, I'll just sing for you like how it goes. So, and also these are not the exact words. This is just from memory what I remember, but it goes a little something like this. She's got them high heels pressed down hard like she hates that floor bored she's got them red lips strip stick 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 cigarette trail behind tail lights gone as it gets to the wave of the whip and the shangels made a get away <laughs> now she's out there putting my heart through hell on a highway so yeah that's the song <laughs> <laughs> okay so Emily was like, hey, have you oh, seen I any of the this. streamy outfits? And I was like, uh, no, bitch, because I have been either asleep or pouring beers for the past 72, 3, 4 hours. Yes. So, so Emily is going to take I, us through. I, okay, so I'm not like big on like award show fashion or whatever. Because, like, I feel like a lot of it is, like, past our knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like certain people, like, once you reach a certain level of wealth, I'm just not going to understand your fashion because, like, it's so expensive. And so, like, maybe in your own world, this is really cool. But, like, have you seen I that don't girl? Get it. Have you seen that girl that, like, wears, like, lettuce earrings and has, like, cotton candy hair? And No. Like, okay. Well, we'll go through yours and then I'm going to show you her, like, what she, her like first date outfit oh interesting but my whole point with that thing i was saying is like i feel like this i can judge because these people aren't wearing like versace or like 
you know, like a custom right. made like fifty thousand dollar gown. Right. Where like like I can't judge what like Beyonce wears so because for, like I just don't get also it. for all of our audio listeners, this might be a good time to switch over to the video version of the podcast so Emily can put in yeah, the I'll, pictures. I'll pop up the thing. So like this isn't gonna be like everybody and honestly some of these people I don't even fucking know who they are because uh whatever but oh my god this is not even the article dude these fucking bugs are insane uh, no there's like two and they'd be following me they've got to die i don't know it's because it's been so hot in nashville like the fruit flies have just been populating mm-hmm. okay i guess this one will be fine okay so the streamies for those who don't know is a awards show similar to like the oscars but for people who are on the internet so for like youtubers or tiktokers or it just it's essentially like the influencer oscars Mm -hmm. so that's what it is so it's a very random group of people here because it's like everybody from like like twitch streamers to like like dylan mulvaney influencer tiktok person so it's very random but so one of the first looks that I saw that I was like, what the fuck was Pinky Doll, the girl who does the uh, NPC. the NPC live stream. Like that's yeah. her whole thing. She kind of like popular, like popularized that. Yeah. Her. <laughs> it's like a blue and white jump, like tight fitting bodysuit that has gloves and like a skirt. But the print looks like something she that you looks would like get. a fish. The print reminds me of something that you would get at like a beachfront store in like Cancun that would cost like a lot of money for like a dress that an old lady would buy. So my, I feel like, okay, her makeup looks great. Her hair looks great. The shoes, I hate, hate, hate. Like. Hate, hate, hate. They I look like Steve Madden. Like I don't understand why like her whole, f- like that whole thing part of her jumpsuit had to go into her heel or like go you can, over your toe because well you can clearly see that like the straps of the heel are still underneath it like she awkwardly put it oh that's very odd but yeah the outfit is so horrible i hate it so much it's trying to give what like a kim kardashian would but give, like my but it's thing just is not. like does she even have the money to afford an outfit like this or is she just like out here pretending she looks like a fucking fish but it she doesn't looks like, look nice she looks like, like she should be in the broadway show of finding nemo it looks like something As that was coral. made in like on Shein. like it doesn't look nice quality like she no she looks like she should be it's like, really bad yeah no it's not okay cute. uh drew afu i always say her name wrong afu wallow drew we both Afuwalo. aspire to be yeah i love her so much i thought she kind of ate in this dress i don't love the print because okay. it kind of gives like charlotte russe vibes but i like the vision like okay. i like the cut on her i do think that she ate i wish that the slit was a little bit lower on her i just don't think it's as flattering where like it starts to like mm-hmm. i think it, it was like a little bit like lower yeah just because like her it's just like really booby yeah, it's and like a she, lot of And like, she has like beautiful hips. Mm-hmm. And I feel like where it's starting to like, where it started to cut for like the slit, it like kind of takes from away it. from it. Yeah. So I think it was like a little bit longer, but like she did eat. Yeah. Compared to the last outfit, she ate. I like it, but I don't really like the pattern. And I'm like, maybe I would like the pattern if it didn't have black as the... Yeah. It's like a blue like gown with a really high slit on one leg. And the whole thing is kind of sheer, but it's like blue lace and it's very booby it's very like much leg out i don't really the shoes don't bother me but i also don't like them well there she has black shoes because of the black in the dress for sure i just don't like the this yeah thing. It, it doesn't look nice on no it kind of just gave charlotte russe honestly uh i don't know who that is so do you know who that is chris collins no i'm assuming she might be like a youtuber okay brooke is it Schofield or Schofield? I think it's the second option. Schofield? So it's like who Tana Mojo does her podcast with. Yeah. I don't like this at all. It reminds it's me. Too, okay, so I think she has too much under boob for it to be cute. Like, I feel like as someone, like this dress would be really cute on a person who has no boobs and is a size double zero. That's the only person it would be cute on because it's too much under boob. Mm. That like yeah, and also it like I hate the watch with it. It looks like why did you do that? Like that doesn't make sense. And then the red nail, like none of it. 
really flows. Her hair and makeup slay, but everything else I'm kind of like, Ugh. Like, I would like the dress also if it was maybe like a beach vacation, but I'm not. Yeah. It's just. I hate her under boob in it. I think that ruins it for me. Yeah. It's like almost like tape the boobs up or something. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, the dress basically it's a tight fitting. I love her hair. Like, black gown that's like crossed in the front. Like, when you tie your swimsuits in the front with the boob, like a keyhole boob, but it's giant. And then there's a slit on the under boob that shows the under boob. And then there's also two slits on the stomach that make like a flower shape with all those put together. And it's just not giving. Right. That's why I feel like if it was a person with no boobs, like double zero, it would be like, oh my God, that's the cutest thing or ever. Or it's almost like if that was cut out and all of this was still filled in. But like yeah. the cut out was where it, it wasn't cut out. Right. But yeah, it's just not flattering. And she is a probably a double zero but this makes it look like it's just not flattering for her body no no no. i'm not saying that she's big that's not what i'm saying yeah. i'm just like the boobs is yeah. like the problem you need like an a cup to rock that okay this is what dylan wore dylan mulvaney she's i hate this her hair looks fucking atrocious okay everybody's been eating up her blonde hair but i think it washes her out so bad i think she looks horrible it looks so bad and the dress is so bad so, uh, that's something I would have wanted to wear at fourth grade to church for Christmas. <laughs> it's like a uh, baby doll red dress with a cut out on the under boob like triangle area. Like when we used to have like that was like a big trend where you would like cut out that part of the dress. But the bra top is a bow <laughs> like a Christmas bow. No, like, I'm saying that I would have wanted to wear this for Christmas service. It's very holiday vibes. Also, she's a... Uh, claimed that she wants to get away from that like old hollywood look and start get, but that like, her hair is but giving this old whole ho- thing yeah. is giving old hollywood and like the, i don't like it no i don't like it also i didn't all. like the shoes how pointy they were like they look weird i feel like they look a little bit too small yeah i didn't like the look a lot of people really liked it i think i would have liked it more if it was a long gown i agree i could agree like i don't that. think i would hate it as much i don't like the, the shortness of it but also the hair is just not giving and that's the issue with like blonde hair when you're a true like dark brunette is like at some point it is going to be this yellow color because it's so damaging that like you can't keep toning it it's not cute so yeah i don't like the blonde hair either do you know who anna sitar is she's like a big influencer i feel like i've seen her yeah okay i this i feel about what you felt about dylan with her outfit i hate 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 it it reminds me of what i would want my dress to look like for homecoming when i was like eh, 15 so i feel like this was two years ago nasty gal everyone got that type of dress and like all the miami girls would wear something like that like that's mm-hmm. what that's giving it's not really giving yeah i don't like she has like stripper heels on yeah with the bows on it yeah it's like a black like cocktail and her short hair dress with a corset sheer like uh what are those things called they're like the plastic bars in the corset that you would know way more I, i'm letting with you with like on this. a heart like ruffled a heart thing on the boob area but it's all black and then her shoes are like black platform pump no black platform stilettos with bows on <laughs> and they have gems in the middle of the bow and the also, whole like, outfit's giving very cheap it's, vibes. it's giving cheap and her hair isn't even over like i mean her hair is not really done her makeup's not really done yeah so like okay i took some screenshots of some like really bad ones i don't know who this guy is um those shoes why have people been wearing shoes it's the stupid mischief shoes but it's the croc collab like the the mischief rubber roly poly oly type shoes like tucked and he has a gray a light gray suit that does not fit him very good tucked into those shoes with a white t-shirt he looks really bad his i hair, don't even know who this is but his he looks hair terrible. was it no this is just it's you get a you get a three it's giving i just came into money i don't know how to dress it's also giving i just woke up and didn't care yeah um oh bella porch looked crazy I hated this as well. It was like so close to the slang because it was like almost camp enough. But then the purse like ruined it for me. Like, why do you have a purse on the red carpet? I feel like that's so corny. Like, what are you carrying? Maybe she had her period. Okay, but you have a whole team of people there like holding your shit. Like, why do you need a purse? I feel like her makeup and her hair is everything. Oh my God, it looks so cool. I feel like the top half 
looks cool. Like the sleeves no, are cool. That's what I was the thinking. The bottom half, like the shoes with it. And I mean, who am I for fashion? But like the bottom half is giving like the Lorax. I was going to say, yeah, like very like Sesame Street vibes. Like I don't like it, but the top half is a sleigh. Yeah. She's in a bodycon midi tight fitting rhinestone zebra print dress with a big hole in like the middle of it and then it has like a rhinestone like neckline and then it has like sheer gloves and then the bottom of the dress is a black and hot pink feathered trim that's very much uh yeah like the lorax like truffle tree vibes with pointed toe black boots and a purse with pearl <laughs> a pearl handle and like colorful gems and it's black. I just don't like the purse. I feel like it took away. I don't get it. Yeah. I feel like if the purse wasn't there, it would be kind of camp and I think I wouldn't hate it. And then the purse, it's like, what? The purse and like this is just what that doesn't need to be there. Like yeah. the whole like Lorax whole scene doesn't need to be there. Yeah, it's not great. Um, Okay, this is what Brianna Chicken Fried wore. What are your first thoughts? Because my first thoughts is this is the most Gen Z look I think we've seen. So I don't hate it for that, but I also no. Don't what are you doing? Like it? <laughs> you wear this out to the bar. You wear this to go shopping. Like this is not anything special that we've seen on her. So like, mm. like it's, it's very it's, her, but at the same time, it's like the fact that she has on boxers. Like I feel like I, I'm okay with like the oversized pants. I like the shoes, but it's like the top half. Like mm -hmm. the boxers and the, the crop top that is just, what are you doing? What are yeah. you doing? She has a uh, like dark And gray. this is like another reason I hate that she's dating Zach Bryan because what are you doing? Mm. Vibes don't match. Yeah. It's she's giving like, very Justin Bieber and, and Hailey Bieber. Yes. She has like dark gray, like slack, like what look like wool slacks with a thin black belt, a pointed toe, like white cute ass like kitten heel yeah with like a cute buckle accent and then the top half so the bottom half is giving very much a businessman right like it could have aged that's what i'm saying she could have had like an oversized blazer on with it with like no no shirt underneath like buttoned once and it would have been the same vibe slay and it would have given the same thing that she's trying to give like the casual like yeah. masculine yeah but like, like still like hot feminine yeah. sexy like it could have slayed but it's or not. even like not the not the jacket honestly i don't even hate like if she would have put like a more serious like cropped top and taken away the boxers i think it would have still given the same, same effect. effect but like it's a, yeah. what is that so she yeah she after the bottom half she has red and green like puffy boxers on that go up to her belly button and then she has a <laughs> crop top tank top with an eight ball that on she it. cut herself yeah because the, that, that crop that that cut isn't straight the whole thing is just kind of giving uh like i don't know la day on the town it, yeah that's what i'm saying it looks like something you would wear every fucking day right it's not cute it's not giving um okay let's go, let's end it with a good one me saying this in gym shark <laughs> it's fine gym shark leggings okay <laughs> actually I have a couple more. I don't know who, if you know who this is. He makes like comedy style videos. I'm sure you've seen his videos before Probably. on TikTok. I fucking love this look. I feel like no, this is a like a really cool way to like be Gen Z without being like what Brianna Chicken Fry did where it was so literal. Like you still look that's cool and you still look like young and hip, but it's like so subtle. I don't necessarily, I'm not obsessed with the jacket to be quite honest with you. Oh, I but, love the jacket. But I love the whole fit mm -hmm. like if i would have seen the jacket out i'd have been like ew absolutely not but right. like the fit together is great i just like yeah wouldn't have picked the jacket out right is all i'm saying yeah it's like he's wearing these super wide leg black like saggy uh like trousers with like a uh elastic like waistband like athletic style belt which is like so cool because it makes it more casual and then he just has like a black like tank top with this like what looks like silk jacket like satin. yeah it's like the silk satin style jacket with like it's light blue with like fl a floral like very grandma print on it it's almost like harry styles vibes and then he has these like white like square toed boots on that just look like 
patent leather maybe but they oh my god like the whole outfit looks so good it's so subtle i like how he kept his like normal everyday jewelry yeah. so it like wasn't too dressed up but like oh my god so good demarcus sean that's who wore that and the last one is the one the only tana mojo i thought this was super safe but at the same time it Gabe this is award the, show. This is the only classy outfit I feel like I've mm-hmm. ever seen her wear. Like, remember when she went on the red carpet and she had on a whole oversized tracksuit that was highlighter yellow and had TM all <laughs> over it? Like, I was thinking, like, no. what Brooke was wearing, I feel like it was more traditional Tana outfit. Yeah. And, this and that's is, a Brooke outfit. Right. And so I like, was kind of shocked when I saw them honestly, together. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm here for Tana's outfit. Mm-hmm. It's very classic. She's literally just wearing a black gown with that strapless and like it's a two piece and there's just the tiniest sliver of like upper she stomach looks great. showing. She looks great. Yeah, I loved it. And then, yeah, she's a classic just pointed toe. She heel. looks great. And I would never and say also, it about And also I love the way they did her hair. Just like long down straight. Like she looks so good. So she had someone give her that outfit because she looks mm-hmm. good. But yeah, there was some very questionable looks. Uh, the streamies night. I think Ethan Klein wore a two-piece Vivian Westwood like shorts slash like button-up short sleeve t-shirt. And like he looked so cool. And like him and Ela like matched. And she had like this long like Barbie pink gown on. Like they looked so cool together. But like the big T of the night was like I guess H3 podcast last year got like when their award got announced it was during a commercial break so like they didn't even show it on anything and they ended up losing and so this year they were like we're not coming again like you guys pulled this shit like we're the quote biggest podcast and you did the award during a commercial Mm -hmm. he's like i don't even care that we lost it's like the fact that like you did it over the commercial makes no sense and so this year he was like i'm only coming if like you don't sit us in the back because i guess last year too they set him in the very back and like all that shit happened and he's like I'm only coming if you don't sit us in the back and you don't announce during the commercial break. And they set him in the back and they announced during the commercial break. So the whole entire H3 company got up and left. And they're like, we don't even care that we lost. It was like the fact that like you did all that. And also Ethan, oh my God, he ate so hard with this. People magazine was like interviewing people on the carpet. And they asked Ethan, like, what's your one word of advice that you would give to like anybody wanting to become an influencer or whatever he's like um uh probably don't have sex with minors and don't hook up with minors <laughs> and then he looked over at Ela and Ela was like yeah that sounds good and and then he's like okay well what would you say like is a do like what would you do and he was like um only be in relationships with people who are like consenting adults and like around your same age and then Ela was like yeah and then they're like oh okay thanks and he's like have you guys talked to James Charles yet tonight <laughs> Stop! <laughs> and literally, people reshared that on their TikTok, and then on the like the text on the screen, they go, "James Charles has been accused multiple times of like sexting minors <laughs> and like all stuff." And, and then Ethan reacted to it on H three like the next day because they saw that people shared it like today, I think, or yesterday. And Ethan was like, "Holy shit! They actually used that and shared it." He was like, "That is so insane." <laughs> but he literally was like, "Have you guys talked to James Charles yet tonight?" And they're like, "No, not yet." He's like, "All right, well." Have a good night. And he was like, handed the mic back and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute was like, don't give a fuck. Yes. They wanted like a serious answer. And he was just like. He's like, maybe don't have sex with minors or like talk to them. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. I didn't see anything about the streamies, but also like that's not shocking. Yeah. That's not shocking. I don't know anything about the winners. The only thing that I know is M- Michaela won like beauty creator of the year and like Dylan won breakout creator of the year Mm -hmm. those are the only two like awards that i like actually knew and then tana when she was announcing because she was like a a announcer or whatever when she was announcing she like totally fumbled over her words and like acted like a total idiot and so people were posting clips and being like tana's so fucked up and whatever and then tana commented and she's like i'm actually on 75 hard right now and i'm completely sober and that's what's even more embarrassing about this clip because she was like i was, I was like, she's on 75 hard like now this is i think like her sep- second time doing yeah it. but she made a, her whole <laughs> video like reacting to it and she was like i wish i could blame this on alcohol but this was me just being like purely anxious and like unprepared and like 
no, I just did that completely sober. But like the video clip is so hard to watch of her. Like that's kind of sad. Though. She like tries to make a joke. That's sad and, like, because to be quite honest <laughs> with you, I would be so nervous in that situation. Yeah. And to like it's like your peers, you your know? peers, people like who look up to you, who you look up to, who like. Or who have like preconceived notions about you because of X, Y, and Z. And so, and like, then like, but also like, you know, it's like on national television and yeah, probably wasn't given what she's going to say before she's standing up there having to say it. it like, prompter. like I yeah. would be nervous too. Yeah. It was so well, it's also bad. like not her, jo- <laughs> like her line of work. Yeah. No, totally. So it was just like, it was really funny though when she like reacted to this person's video and be like actually the most embarrassing part is like, i wasn't drunk like that yeah. was just me like fucking up <laughs> <laughs> i love tana for that i was though. like she's so real for that honestly like <laughs> i i mean you could be hating on tana but i just can't i don't yeah that's like trisha paytas yeah like, like her and trish like, you I hate know. to love her but love to and hate they've her. collabed recently and it was so good oh my god when they were like doing like, the starbucks thing she's like no Tana no no was dying no. and trish was so serious so serious she's like no 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 ask them yeah I'm give like, him a oh. taste give him a taste she's like stir it with your finger and tana's like <laughs> dying laughing <laughs> <laughs> or i don't know my favorite part is when she poured the like creamer in but poured so much and trish goes oh okay <laughs> she was like <laughs> did she like she was like well we can give this one too we have to make another one yeah. like that where she was like well since we messed this one up you get to keep this one it's on the house yeah <laughs> i was dying i love them together i feel like it's like the most Mom, chaotic it's like um, almost like mother daughter of yeah. the internet yeah no yeah. that's it's the most perfect thing ever but it's so good all right well i think that's enough for today's episode we went yeah. from we, this is a whole roller coaster ride so thanks for staying there with w- us it was of emotions but i also feel like it's good to be honest because yeah i feel like also a lot of times in this world people come on and like fake happy and fake like yeah what's actually going on in their lives or and I think they talk like, about like the extremes of the sadness and it's yeah. like right now it's like it's not even that deep it's like i just don't go to the gym right and like i'm just a little <laughs> bit sad and yeah. i like want to cry like <laughs> right i don't know i think it's like something that should be talked about so i'm happy that I we agree. got to do it and this Me is a too. place that like we can and other people can resonate with us yeah but anyway we love you guys thank you guys for listening to another episode of society 97 my name is kelly k you can find me at kelly k on instagram youtube and tiktok at kelly k yeah and you can find me on instagram tiktok and oh actually i'm emily in case you didn't know that <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Starnsy. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Instagram as well. We're at society97.pod. If you ever want to DM us all of your, you know, midlife crises or your depression thoughts or whatever, just shoot them our way. Um, we are also on TikTok. We are at society97pod on the TikTok where we post clips from the show. And we have our YouTube channel where we post vlogs every single Tuesday and the video version of the podcast every single Friday. Mm-hmm. So make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and give us some comments over there. We love to hear from you guys. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.